Here's a situation. You have multiple tabs with each sales rep's list of accounts. What you need is a way to find repeated or duplicated account numbers across sheets to make sure you didn't assign the same account number to multiple reps. So let's take a look at this example. Here I have a sheet for each sales rep. For this example, it's only showing their account numbers, but there could be other information here. First thing I'm going to do, and I already did it, was take each sales rep's list, copy paste them over here, stack them on top of each other, come to the data ribbon, hit remove duplicates and sort them. That gives me a unique list. So now at this point I have a choice. I can do two things. I could either create a formula to find the location of each one of these account numbers across these sheets or I can come up with a formula to tell me if it's simply duplicated or not somewhere without telling me the location. So I'm going to show you both. You might need both. You might only need one. So this first formula is a way to find the location. I have the, the same basic formula but for each sheet. And what it's doing is a simple uh, match, if end match. It's looking for this account number on this sheet and trying to match it for this account number on this sheet, S1. If both conditions are true because of the end over here, it's going to put an X in the cell. If they're not both true, it's going to put nothing in the cell. So coming across this first row, we can see that there's an X in S1. That means 1004 is on sheet 1, but it's not on sheet 2 or 3 or 4. Now what I could have done was used a 1 instead of an X. Over here, I could have a simple sum formula to add the 1's together. If, it, if the result was more than 1, then I'd know it was duplicated somewhere. I could have done that, but what I did instead was come up with a completely different formula so it would be independent of this in case you only needed this technique or you only needed that technique so you can use these two independently so this formula is going to count how many times it was found so I'm using the count if function It's the same formula for each sheet it's just going to look on S1's range for this account number and it's going to do the same thing on S2, S3, and S4. Let me expand this. You can see it's the same thing for S4. It's going to add them all together, and this is the result. A 1 means it was found in this file on these sheets only one time, so it's not duplicated. So now with both of these techniques here, I can grab this and drag it all the way down. And I can see the results. Here, not only it will this tell me if it's duplicated, this method, but it also tells me the location of every one of these account numbers. So that's good added information. In this account, or in this column, I have a lot of ones, and I already said that a one means it's not duplicated. So what I want to do is suppress the ones with conditional formatting. So I'm going to come down here, highlight this range, go to conditional formatting, choose equal to one because zero is not a possibility. Come over here, custom format, change the font to white, click OK, click OK, and this is a much cleaner look. Not as cluttered as it was before. So if I only had this column, I could come down this column and say, uh-oh, and stop here and say, uh-oh, 10189 is duplicated. Two people have it. And I can come down here and say, uh-oh, three people have it. But that's all this tells me. It doesn't tell me where it is. But with this information, I know where 10195 is. I know it's on S1, I know it's on S2, and I know it's on S4. Let me show you how I did that. And that is a way to solve this need.